Hey folks, it's Ridcar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Train Valley 2. Get those going. Like that. You're going down that way, and then this one here is going to go there, and I will send workers in here. Uh, that one's going into there. You're going to go through, straighten up, and you're going to go into there. It's got 21,000 going in there. Uh, that's only six workers there. Send another six workers into that one. You're going through there. Now, where do I want to send things? Right, I want to send a train load of workers here up to the glass. Straighten that one up. I uh, don't have any more workers, so we'll just send that one there, and then I'll send some sand on round that way as well. This one here, I could do with sending it over there, because I'm going to need quite a lot of wire anyway. Like, I need a lot of wire down there in order to produce the next bit. So it would probably be handy if I had to... I'm going to keep this one here. I'm going to keep like a loop running round so that if that one comes out without me realising, it goes straight into that one without causing us any major headaches. At least that's the theory behind it. Now, although this time I'm going to send the polymers down here. We're going to go there. We're going to take a track here like that and you're going to switch there you're just about ready to come out that's why so you're going to go there and then you're going to switch over there and while i'm waiting for that i'm going to send some of those out that one's going to go in there oh i need sand down that one right well we're going to send out some more we'll get some more people over into the sand over this side get some more of those in there And there goes the polymer train. That one's going to go through that way there. You go on the right way there. And you go on the right way over here. That's good. That's all good. Right. And I'll upgrade both of those trains there. Polymers are going to go into here. That's good. And then you're going to switch that way. And I'm going to send out that train so that you go in there. I think I meant to send it out there last time and it didn't go there. It went the wrong way. I think it went in here for some strange reason. I don't know quite why. But we get people going in there. And I will dispatch that one so that I've got sand. That's coming down here. Go uh, switch that one. Yeah, you do want to go down that way. So I need copper wires. I need bars getting over there. And then I need these engineers coming out as well. So we're at nine minutes at the moment. Anything else going on? I got the polymers there. So let's get this bit up here up and running. Now I can build a bridge across there, but I can't build any more bridges anywhere else. There's no point. A tunnel can go down here, but that doesn't really seem to achieve much. I can put a tunnel through there, which will achieve much. That one will do that like that and go into that one. And then it's going to go out here. It's going to go that way, and it's going to go right in there like that, so I can get some people back here. Oh, I need polymers to go through there as well, so we will also send that one straight across there so that I can send polymers directly into that one, and that's going to be our next stop for polymers. That one's going to go like that, and that one's going to go like that, so I send people into there, and I'm also going to want to send some bars into there as well. I've got one load of sand down here. I can ignore that load of sand for a minute. That one's going to go there and I'm going to send out some people. They're going to go through over to here and into that one as is those polymers there. And the polymers are just about to come out so I'm going to stop you there. Send the polymers out. Like that. And I'm going to dispatch a load of those. Send you out. Now I've got everything going over to there. Send another one of those. And I'll send some more people out in a second as well. I'm going to dispatch this one back up this way. That's going to go straight there and it's going to go there. So then we've got power going in here. I'll send two lots of those. And I've got two lots of those going. I want one more lot of people. I can't afford to buy a train yet. I'll be able to afford to buy a train pretty soon at this rate. 
Send that one out. That's all going the correct direction so that I get uh, 14 into there. And the next lot of polymers will go in here as well. That's immediately going to get me 14 lots of wire down there. Send out a train load of people from here. I send two train loads of people straight down there to the uranium mine. There's another one. And in the meantime, that one is going to go there. And I'm going to send some people over that way. I've got 123,000 at the moment. Yeah, I know I don't have, like, all of the people, but still. Um, there's another four grand that's going into there. That's good. Right, we've now got some more money. I need glass to go there. I need 14 lots of glass to go there. I've got seven. So I need one lot of sand and one lot of workers to go over to there still. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've got workers going down here. I've got polymers that are about to go over to that side. It's going to give me 14 of them. And I can then start shipping some of those down here. I'm going to need 28 of these altogether, which means... We need these. These right here, the engineers, these are now the important ones that we've got to focus on. So let's have a look. Let's see what we've got down here with the engineers. I've got nothing down there that I can put them through. Nothing down there that I can put them through. The only way that we can get to the engineers is a tunnel through there. That is the only access point. So we build a tunnel right there for 42 grand. And then I go from here. I go out like that. Up to there and into there like that. So keep that minimal. And then I go out this way. Over to there like that. That's keeping that one minimal. You go up to there and then you can go up to that one. But that's... That's not actually beneficial, is it? No. What I want to do with this one then is I want to bring it straight over that way and join it in there. And then I want to join that one in there. That's going to be the best way to do that, I think. So it's going to be fast to send these out. Sending these out is not going to be a problem. I've got two lots of workers going somewhere. I've got one lot there and one lot there. So I can send out engineers immediately. I can post them up there so that I can fit some up there, or I can send them over this way. So I'll switch you back that way, and I'll switch you that way, and you will come over here. You will go straight there, and then you will turn round around that way, and then you're on your way. So you can go out. I get seven engineers on their way through. We've got a loop up there. Those are going into there. We don't need to worry about them. Wait, why can't I send out more engine? Oh, I've already got one train load of engineers going out. Oh, no, I haven't got the money. I'm short on money. There, that's what it is. It costs, it costs 45 grand to send those bad boys out. Okay, that is all going to right. Apart from that one, you need to go up there. So I've got two lots of engineers on the tracks going out through. That one there is going to need to go this way next so that it heads down there. I want polymers down that side. That's where you're going to need to go. I'm going to send out the wire over here. I need wire there. That is actually the only place that we need to have wire. We need train loads of wire down there. But there isn't anywhere else that we need to take them. So I've got seven of them going into there. And I'm going to send seven of these over this way. They're going to go into that one. Right, I need to get workers and copper ingots up to there so that I can get more wire. You're going the right way. You go that way. I got the polymer train on its way out. I'm going to send some workers over as well. Where am I sending workers? Stop you right there because I need to get the workers up there and the copper. So that one's got to go through there. Then that one will straighten up and they'll go up that way. You're going to go in here. Polymers are going down there. I mustn't forget about the workers down here. Right, you go that way. Off you go. That one's going under there. That one will straighten. That one will go that way and you can go that way there. And then also that one can go out so that I keep the power running. And then you can go out as well and you're going up that way. That's all going. Yeah, they're all going in the correct directions. Going everywhere that we need them to go. So we need more workers going out this way. 
so that I can get more workers going into here. I need more sand down there. So I need more... No, you're a worker. You're going down here. I've sent you that way. I send another one that way as well. Switch you there. So send a double lot of workers there. Send a lot of workers here. They're going to go into there. And another lot of workers there, so that I got plenty. No, no, actually. That one can go round to the sand. You stop there a second. You go. You know what? I want you back here at the wire. Turn round. You go into the wire. This lot of workers here. I want that one over at the glass. So that one's going to go straight down that way. There, and... Another lot of polymers there going into the wire again. Those have got to be done first. So then I've got the glass down here. Because I need 14 glass up there. So that's done. Sand can come out now. And that's going to go this way. And yes, 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 and yes. I want two lots of sand over there. I'm actually going to need one more lot of sand yet. Down here. Glass I don't need any more of. I've got... Actually, I do need. I need another... Send that sand there. Straight into there. Straighten that one up. There. Send some more workforce into there. So I got more sand. That lot's busy making down there. That's good. You can come up here and you're going to switch that way. And I'm also going to send more workers into this one. You over there... Yeah, those polymers can go straight across into that one. Although I think I could actually do with the polymers down there this time. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just pause this a second and let's see what we're doing. I need 14 of these. I've got 7. So, that's 14. I then need another 14 of them. I do need one more lot over here. I need one more lot of polymers over here. So they can go into there. Then the rest of the polymers, I need them down here. I need two, three shipments. Uh, no, two. Two shipments of polymers down here. One shipment of polymers up there. That's what we need. Because I got 14 of these. Which is not quite enough. So dispatch that one there. And you straighten up. So then that's going to keep that power running. And we're going to go this way. Wait a minute. Glass is fine. Workforce. Workforce up here. That one. And that one. Workforce over here. I need a workforce over there. I've got seven. Seven people. Seven ingots. They're all running through. Seven people, seven ingots. Seven workforce. That's going to allow me to do everything that I need to do up there. I will dispatch the glass next. That one's going to go there, and it's going to go there, and then those 14 pieces of glass can go to there, and that one will be ready to roll. And do that. And once those have sort of gone through... Right, polymers. Yeah, I've got enough polymers now. So those polymers now need to go over this way, and I'll switch that in a second. Glass is going through to the correct side. That one's going to go there, and then the polymer is going to go there. So polymers will go through that way. This one here, I'm going to send those engineers out, and they're going to go over to there. So I've got my 14 in there. That's everything that I need in that one. And then I want to send out some more engineers. Another lot, so that I get some down here. And we can start building the computers as well. We're going to be mostly waiting on the polymers, I think. If everything goes to plan, we should be waiting on the polymers. That's kind of what we want to do. Right, send... No one will go there. I'm going to have to do it like that. Right, wait a minute. That one's gone in there where it should do. This one over here, I want to send... You know what? I'm just going to send it into there. So I don't need to worry about that one. You down here, though. Switch that way. And then go. So then you will go that way there. And you'll go over here. And you'll go here. And you'll go down there. That's where I need you. I need you down there. And then I need to dispatch these. And they also need to go that way. I need all 14 of these. Out you go. 
That should beat the... They, yeah, they'll beat the polymers. So that's going to get everything I need down there. And I need more sand, which means I need to just do that so that I make sure that I've got the workers over here. So there goes the engineers into there. That's going to fill that one up. I'm going to need one more lot of each of these all the way through. This is why we need to get these over. And then I need to get the sand back over this side. Getting these in here is pretty good. The polymers, I will wait. I'm going to leave those for a minute. They're going to stand around outside until I've got all 14 of these in place. I can't do anything for a minute because I've got no power. This is a problem. So in that one there, I got that bit. Uh, I'm not going to have power until I have that. And that's a problem. Because I'm going to have to wait for another shipment of these. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to stop that one. I'm going to turn that one round. I'm going to send that shipment out. Only five of them, I know, but that's fine. I haven't got any other trains on here. Those five can go out for a minute. You go up this way and we'll stop you. Up there. That one will go like that. And then I will send out some workers here. And I'll send some... They will go around that way and it will go straight down there. I'm going to send another lot so that I've got 14 workers down there. As soon as those trains have gone past... That one can now turn round. Stop there a minute. Send out another one of these. Straighten that and send 14 workers in there. Uh, not 14. Send another seven in there. There goes another polymer train. It's a little bit of a problem, isn't it? I'll send that one over there. Right, now you go and go that way and go that way. So get the polymers in there. You go up here, send out that one. You need to go that way there, and you stop. Switch that, and then turn you round. You go this way, and you're going in there as well. Right, that's all good. Everything's good up here at the moment. We've got the right number. I've got... I ha have actually got all the correct number of polymers that I'm going to need to be able to do this. I just need a bit more power to come through, and... You need to send out one lot of those. That's going the right way now. Uh, you go... Keep going there. This one I'm going to dispatch. So I've got seven uranium coming up here. That's going to go in there. Like that. Those are not going to make for a minute. So those engineers... To stop them a minute. Let this train here come up so that I've got power. Not that the power really matters, to be honest. Then off you go again. And get those engineers going into that side. And I need to dispatch these. I need to get those running. And you, again, you, you've got to go back up there. I need to get that one to co um, come down. So you go like that and turn around and go up there. I need to bring those down this way. Sand needs to come down this way. And I need to actually stop that one a minute. Don't stop that one. Yeah, do stop that one. Move that one on a little bit further. Like that. Switch that like that. And move you over this way. Send out another one of those. So then I've got the computers making. I'm going to stop there. You can go that way. And then you go all the way in there. And we've got the computers actually making. So that's all of those. Then I just need to bring back the rest of the materials and people and stuff. So we'll send seven people in here to the power station to keep that one running. And then another seven people will follow that. And they're going to go in here. Switch that one. That's the one I need to switch. They're going the right way. The sand can go now. Nope. Turn the sand round. You go like that. Polymers will just go up there. We don't need to worry about the polymers. We can just get rid of those. They gotta go in there. I need these seven to come down as well as the sand, and then I got those. And the computers are now making how they should as well. So I got everything making. 21 minutes. I got two minutes left. That one's gone the wrong way. There, and change you over. Right, send that one out. That's gotta come round there, down here. 
switch that one. So that goes into here as well. That'll be all of those. I've got these computers coming out. They're doing great. And then we got these down here. So I'm just waiting on the rest of those to be made. Uh, I'll dispatch seven of these. Stop that one. I've actually got to make sure that I've got all the right power in here. I've got that up there. But I still need to get more power going down here. And the power situation is what's going to hang me up, I think. Swap those two over like that. And then this one here is going to go straight on down there. I'm going to send 14 people on round there. Keep that one going. And I'll send some more people out in a minute as soon as these have gone through. Send them into there. I just need this load of wire to come down here. You're going to go straight across into there. The wire is going to go into here. So that will be the last ones of those that I need to be made. Go that way and go into there. And I got the sand. I got everything I need going in there. I just need power. So send that one out and that one over there so that I've got people going into that one. And then I just need to get some fuel from up there to go in here as well. Uh, send five people, four people in there. And microchips, they're going to go out. 56,000 of them. Those microchips are going to go this way. They're going to go straight in there. And then that little lot there is going to come through. And then I've got the computers up here that I want to bring down. And no, we are not going to do this in time. We're a little bit out of time on this one. That got sent the wrong way, as you can see. So I'll send you over to there, and I will stop you there. And then I'll switch that one, and... There. Right, you go that way. Then you go as well. That one's also got a switch. There. Right, you're just going up here, so you're harmless. I don't need to worry about you. You're going in there. You're going the right way now. Those are coming out. They're going to go the right way. And then finally, we just need to get these computers delivered down the opposite direction. I'm going to stop that one. I'm going to send out both these computers. They're going to go through here. They're going to go that way there. Send both lots of those out. And then send these computer chips over here. I, I mean, we didn't do too bad. I mean, yeah, obviously I pressed pause. Pressing pause is just something that went without saying 25 we're gonna it's gonna be 25 and a half minutes we're a minute and a half over time i still think that's something to be proud of like we, we didn't do bad at all on this really i just need to straighten that one there so those seven go in there and that's everything that we need to do do not use pause we know that we failed that one that was going to be without any shadow of a doubt but a minute and a half over time I don't think that's too bad, really. So that was Amity 18. After Amity 18, we're now going to New Zealand. And it looks like we're going to visit the set where The Hobbit was filmed. At least this is what I'm hoping. I'm really, really hoping that we are going to go and help out The Hobbit. Right, mission time, 23 and a half minutes. Earn at least 1.5 million and avoid train crashes. Well, given my track record, this might be a little bit more difficult said than done. Um... It might be a little bit uh, more difficult done than said, I should say. A little bit easier said than done. That, that, that would be the way around I'm trying to, trying to put it. Right, so we need 18 wheels over there. We need... Wait, where's the Hobbit stuff? Oh, there we go. There's the Hobbit up there. It's right up there. We've got a little Hobbit hole up there, a little Hobbit home. And there's another one over there. And there's another one over here. I, I guess this is just how people in New Zealand live. Uh, this must just be what life is like in New Zealand. Right, everybody lives in hobbit houses, and, and they have industry all the way round, apparently. <laughs> so, this is life in New Zealand, ladies and gentlemen. This is 100% this is realistic. It's exactly how it is. So, we've got books needed at that one right there. Requirement of books, which is those over there. We need tyres over this side, which are those down there. We need another seven books down here. Right, wait, what? Okay, so how do I make books? Books are made up there, and they require glue, and they require paper. I need 
bonds right there. Where, what? What? Where am I? What? Where am I? Te what are the bonds for? I got tires requested there, books requested there, and books requested there. I got jewelry requested here at customs. Why do I need customs? There's something hinky about this map. There is something very strange about this map. I don't really know what's going to go on here. Jewelry up there. I can dispatch a jewelry train, which comes over here to customs. But what is custom? What? Why customs? I've got power down here that requires people. I've got money is produced here. That requires bonds and people. I make bonds up here. So what do I need the money for? Money. Why do I need money? Does that just produce me some... Ex it just produces extra dollars, does it? Extra... It, it, I think it does. I think it just produces extra dollary dues. And that's how we're supposed to make our cash. Ooh. Okay, I think I, I, I think I could like this. I think I could get on board with this kind of thinking. I could get used to this, I think. Right, well, how, how are we going to actually make this work? So I've got uh, timber over here, which I need to take up there to make paper. And then I need to get the paper over there. Glue is over here. I need sap, which is up there, which i got to build. And we need the sap here and for here. We need the tires there. We need those over there. Gold is up there. Gold goes over here to make bonds. That's the only thing that that's needed for, is to get here to make the bonds. Okay, let's have a look at the tunnels. Tunnels go under there for 50,000. They go through here as well. Probably we're going to need that to be able to access the rubber there. And there's a tunnel that goes through there. I don't think we'd be using that. Bridges. We can put a bridge across there or across here. And across that way as well. The own Ah, right. The only way that we can get power is to put a bridge across here, which means that we're going to need to be able to have customs open, which means that we've got to run the jewellery over here. We're actually paying for customs with jewellery today. We're having to bribe our way through customs with jewellery. Not sure what I feel about this. Not sure I think this is a good thing or not. Now, I'm curious... If we're going to have the hordes of Lord of the Rings, like the, the, the massive army of Urukai or something like that, come rampaging through and, and knock things down, just to make life more interesting, because that happens on a fairly regular basis in New Zealand as well, I'm sure of it. <laughs> right. I'd say that the best way to start this one off is we want to go from here, and we want to go up through to that one there. That seems to be, really, the only viable option that we've got is to run that one through there. I could also run it through to the gold bars over there, but I haven't got anywhere to take those gold bars. So if I do that, if I run if I run a track out there, I then need to be able to get up onto here. Because if you look, I've got... Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I've got a track that I can run up there, and it will go out, and it will go round here. So that will actually go up to the paper. I'm going to need to go here first. So I will go straight down that way, like that, and then over again. And over this way. And we'll run straight down this line here. And then over and round, and we join in. Now, what I'm hoping is that I can join... I don't think I can. I cannot. I can't get up there. Oh, we're getting up there. There's only so long that I can continue working through puzzles at any one time before my brain starts to hurt. So we're going to take a little short break from this. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time... Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.